Addicted to the Outdoors begins now. Gene and I have never had an opportunity to hunt Iowa, and it's a state that we have been itching to get to because we know a lot of big whitetails come out of that state. So when our buddy John Bender called us and invited us out to his place, well, absolutely the answer was yes, and we could not wait to get there. And the nice thing about this trip was, our first trip to Iowa was gonna be with Muzzleloader. <laughs> sometimes you hunt big white tails in your backyard, and sometimes you got to travel for them. And the traveling, it can get old. La 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 la! la, 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 la. Hey, I'll be ejecting you out the exit door. <laughs> la la, I'll sing to you, baby. Let me have them with you. I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> shoot me now. You know, Gina was born with a lot of gifts, but singing wasn't one of them. That was not nice to say. Oh my God, I can't wait to put on headphones. <laughs> Between layovers and delays. We have three hours, boy. We'll go grab some meat. Well, we're not really sure where we're supposed to be. Then hopping plane to plane and jumping on these little puddle hoppers is what I call them. You know, it could be a pain in the rear sometimes, but when you get that big white tail down, it's all worth it. Usually that's all everybody wants is her, not me. <laughs> yep, nice meeting you guys. Thanks, nice meeting you. Nothing like waiting in the airport for the eighth hour. Feels good. Oh my gosh, we finally got there, and it took forever. We so finally made it! <laughs> I hug you, but you're not as pretty. <laughs> yeah, well, I understand that. Old John Bender with Bender's Outdoor Adventures. Let me tell you, that boy's a wild man. See some deer? I need a big one. I need a big deer. <laughs> a big white tail. I mean, that sounds good. I need a big one. Okay, I need a big white tail. <laughs> <laughs> Proper response. <laughs> We're gonna get one. But he does have some big deer. So right at light, we'll shoot, make sure they're dialed in, we'll head to our stands, we'll set, we'll set them up, you can get your hunters in, we'll, we'll go, we'll shoot, we'll go get in the stand, you get them in, then we'll shoot, go get in the stand, and just sit the day. We rolled into Benders pretty late that night, and uh, when we get to camp, we always like to shoot our guns or our bows to make sure nothing got knocked off on the flight. So instead of getting up early in the morning and getting in our deer stands, which is what we really wanted to do, we waited till first light. We went out, we fired off the old smoke poles to make sure nothing got knocked off on the flight. Here we are. First day of shotgun season, Iowa. Freezing rain. It is not the ideal conditions, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. It's kind of hard to see still. Well, there's a little ice storm blowing in, and uh, as we were heading out to our stands, the weather got pretty nasty. And we're sitting there looking at a half inch thick piece of ice across the windshield, and you know, we're telling ourselves that we should probably go back to camp and let the storm blow through. But with it being our first day, first morning in Iowa, well, we were gonna, of course, be stubborn and go get in our stands no matter what the weather was. Uh, Bender stuck me in a climber down in this bottom of these hardwoods, which looked incredible. And Gina was not too far from me in a ladder stand sitting on this fence line. In both areas, they've been seeing a lot of good bugs. Well, what John didn't tell you was, yeah, I was on a fence, but I was also sitting directly in line with the ice storm. But most people, yeah, they would have gotten out, but we hung in there. Do, do, do. A buck. There goes a buck. Oh, man. Well, this is throat is called frozen solid. All I can say is thank God for Ravenwear and thank God for the scope coat. Whew. Nice sheet of ice. This is when it's not so much fun. Well, after trees started cracking and limbs started falling, it reminded me of something my dad used to tell me when I was a kid. Boy, if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. So we opted not to be dumb in this situation and we climbed out of our stands, headed into town to grab a bite to eat. Lunch was my high point of the day because we got to get out of the stand.
Well, the weather finally broke, so we went back out and hopped in our stands, and uh, pretty quiet afternoon. We saw one little buck, but other than that, it was pretty uneventful. Saver presents Addicted to the Outdoors with John and Gina Brunson. Now let's bring you up to speed. Gina and I have never had an opportunity to hunt Iowa, and it's a state that we have been itching to get to because we know a lot of big whitetails come out of that state. The nice thing about this trip was our first trip to Iowa was going to be with muzzle loaders. It is not the ideal condition. Day two, we're headed back out, and thank God the ice storm's over. Hopefully Bender can get us on some big deer now. My second morning started out kind of like my first day ended, pretty quiet. It's about noon and we've been in our stand since about half hour before light. And we're gonna stick it out and just sit all day. But this wind has kicked up to about 25 miles an hour. And not sure how that's gonna affect things, but we're gonna dig in and see if we can get something down. But over at Gina's stand, a little different story. Had a nice shooter A point come out, but between me and the cameraman, we just couldn't get it together. You got him. You got him. Just stay with him, Terry. You got him. He's, he went back to the right. Well, Gina decided to take a quick lunch break because her boots were wet and her feet were freezing, and I decided to tough it out and stay all day. Had lunch dried my boots and we're back in the sand and we're going to sit the rest of the day. And I'll tell you, it's days like that that it just wears on you mentally. I mean, when it's cold and windy and icy, it's just, it's tough and it will wear you down. But if you tough it out, if you dig in, if you stick it out, it's going to increase your chances of putting a big buck down. Well, the sun is about to go down, and man, we finally hear something moving, and we think we're going to get some action, and we turn around, and it's a doe. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny and cold, so hopefully there's no wind. We should be rocking and rolling tomorrow. You know, coming back to camp and hitting the old dinner table is a lot of fun, because you get to catch up with everybody, see what they saw that day out in the woods, and you usually hear some pretty interesting stories. I was sitting there all day miserable, and I'm, I'm like, I know these deer ain't gonna move. Hey, with me, the glass is always half full. Well, maybe we'll find him tomorrow, babe. He's very optimistic, but we'll see who gets one first. It's our third morning. It's about 18, 20 degrees. The weather's great. It's a little windy, but hopefully we'll get out and get on a big monster buck. Killing a big buck today. It's 5 o'clock. Uh. Uh, nice hair, Corey. This is what I have to deal with in the morning. Oh, this is ugly to the floor. <laughs> well, it was the third morning, and we got in our stand pretty early. 
The temperature was cold, and wouldn't you know it, we had a nice buck coming our way. Well, this buck came in, and we were trying to figure out where was gonna be the best place to take the shot. And before we know it, he went bedded right down in front of us. Which is at a big monster book bed down right underneath that tree. To add to all the excitement, I had another buck come right off the hill, walk straight down in front of me, and can you believe he went and bedded down right beside the other buck? Oh my gosh, that buck just bedded down beside that other buck. This is the craziest thing that I've ever seen. It's Gina's third day in the stand, and she is in the same stand she's been in from day one, and rightfully so, because she's the only one that's been seeing any deer. Well, I got a text from Gina that a nice buck had come in and bedded down right next to her, and let me tell you, she was going bananas. It's been there for a few hours, and she's been waiting for him to get up, so hopefully that'll pan out for her. But I went ahead and told her to not call to that buck. Um, you know, just wait it out, be patient, and sooner or later, he was gonna get up and stretch. Finally, after all this waiting, he is finally getting up. Well, he was finally getting up, but all he did was turn around, and of course he was behind a bush, and I couldn't even get a shot. waiting another hour and a half, he finally gets up. This time, I'm only hoping he presents a shot. Gina's first Iowa buck, and she was pretty pumped up. And I'll tell you, I was pretty excited for it too. Gina just shot, and I can hear him screaming because they're not that far from us. So she must have, she must have pounded a monster. Let's go check him out. I got one first. <laughs> oh, he didn't go far at all. Holy cow! Look how big he is. <laughs> So here's where we're at so far. Welcome to Iowa! Our first trip to Iowa was gonna be with muzzle loaders. It is not the ideal condition. Oh my gosh, we got him, we got him, we got him! Oh my god, I'm so excited! 
<laughs> well, when I finally got to get down and go look at my buck that I got, I could not believe how big he was. He looked like a cow. That's a nice buck. Your first Iowa <laughs> buck. My first Iowa buck. Yes! Look how big he is. Oh my gosh. Look the... how wide. <sighs> This was Gina's first Iowa buck and she was pretty pumped up and I'll tell you I was pretty excited for it too because this deer, you know, he wasn't a 180 inch deer. Yay! My first Iowa buck. But it's not always about those monster bucks. Sometimes it's about working your butt off and earning that buck and sitting through those ice storms and sitting through the bad weather and sitting all day. You know, when you earn it like that, it makes it all worth it. I'll tell you what, you know he's old. He sat here and laid for like hours. He's edgy, edgy McKinnon now. He's old, that's a good deer to shoot. He's old buck, look at his old face. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how big he is. Yay! My first Iowa buck. I just got my first Iowa buck. He's big and he's mature and that is what we're after. Benner's Outdoors is awesome. Then all of a sudden I realized one thing, it was time for me to get a buck down. I had to go get back my stand. Well, it's early afternoon, day three, and Gina got her a good buck out of the stand. And she's been seeing pretty steady shooter bucks every day. So we're gonna camp out here the second half of the day and see if I can get one down too. I don't know what a guy's got to do to get a nice buck down or even see a nice buck, but uh, my luck just continued to not be so hot. Nada. Zip. Well, if you're gonna stay positive, you gotta look at the positive side. There's always dinner. Yeah. You know, to add insult to injury. Oh, but I get okay. back too. Feel it right there. You feel that big crunch? Yeah, but yeah, but not like down here. Watch this, watch this. No, I'm serious. Look. My boy Bender strolls in with this big old pig he had shot and plops it down in front of me. We shouldn't have had him bring that in. I'm surprised it's that white. I mean, come on, you gotta be kidding me. That is unbelievable. Rub it for good luck. Yeah. <laughs> but I did like touching him. Well, it is morning four, and it is clear and cold, and hopefully the deer are moving. Gina tagged out yesterday, and she seemed to be sitting in a pretty hot stand, so we're gonna go slip in her stand this morning and see if we can put the smack down on a big boy. Did I say nada? Well, uh, it's still nada. Well, if there's such a thing as whitetail mojo, um, I must have left mine at home that trip. day five we were getting desperate and um, probably a little delirious it was hot miserable the deer weren't moving it's been tough this week it's been warm we're going to do a deer drive that's right a deer push 
I put 128 deer in front of him. I just want to see one. Everyone's walk. Needless to say, our little deer drive didn't work out so hot. Our bad luck continued, and uh, well, I just didn't see a shooter. But Gina got her first Iowa buck down, and all in all, it was a good trip. And we know Bender's got some big bucks there. So next year, we're gonna see if we can draw those bow tags and hop in in the middle of the rut. You know, I'm fortunate that I've got a wife that loves the hunt and she can get out there and do these kind of things with me. Um, this was a tough trip, but all in all, we had a lot of fun. You know, Gina got her first Iowa buck down and, you know, we got to remember what this is all about. It's about getting out there and enjoying yourself. In my case, I get to spend time with my wife. Um, enjoy being at camp, the camaraderie, sitting around the table, meeting new people, listening to all the different hunting stories. Uh, you know, this is what it's really about. It's sometimes we get a little caught up in, you know, we got to kill something. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy getting out and whacking stuff, but it's not always about killing something. It's not always about a record book animal. It's about getting out in the woods, enjoying yourself, spending time with friends, spending time with family, and just enjoying the sport that we luckily have the freedom to go and do. So even though it was a rough trip, I really, really enjoyed myself. But I will say this, next year, I hope it's me that gets the big buck down. How you doing? Hey, day three. We're headed to the tree stand with Bender Outdoors. Chick -a Chicka bow bow. Ah! Welcome. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that smell? An offer. And that was not right. I know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>